team guidance, we're going to look at uh, updating the state vector when we get into the entry checklist. Are we happy with what we got? No, we will uplink a uh, state vector. Okay. And GNC, I'm sure you told Richard this already, but no deltas to 22. That's correct, flight no deltas, and we'll take it all on time. Copy. Weather flight on the flight loop. Flight weather. All right, Tim, uh, looking for a current observation, any forecast updates, and then we'll talk a little bit about the anvil and the clouds. Okay, flight. Um, we are observed go. I have a slight update to the forecast, but we remain forecast go. Okay. And uh, we'll start with the observation. Very good. Winds are 090, three peak to four. Crosswind of three peaking to four. Headwind of one peak to one. 10 miles visibility. Just a few clouds at 2,800. Nothing on the radar within 30 nautical miles. Uh, and nothing on the satellite that would give us any concern within 30 nautical miles and good reports from the STA. So we are observed go. Okay. Forecast go. We're going to bring the winds down slightly to 080 at 3 peak to 5. That's a crosswind of 3 peak to 5. Headwind 1 peak 1. 7 miles visibility. And we're going to mend the clouds to just few at 2,500. Few at 2,500. So uh, we got a current ops is go and a forecast go. Very good. Thanks, Tim, for your hard work. Let's see, uh, weather Capcom flight. Uh, Terry, can you give us a quick summary of uh, the dives uh, CJ went through? Sure, flight. Um, both dives were very similar. In fact, he reported that uh, either end of the runway would be great. Uh, the winds were light. He said uh, uh, anybody would be happy with, uh, with both ends, so there were no issues on either one of the dives. And like uh, Weather was saying, the clouds whatever few clouds there were before have really thinned out. Um, and he hasn't mentioned the being able to see the storm off to the northeast, so I'm not sure if, if there's even any lightning that you could even see if it was if it was there. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, folks. Uh, looks like a, it's a good morning to land at KSC. Let me go around the room here and get a go-no-go no go for the deorbit burn. See, Fido? Go. Guidance. Go. GC. Go. Prop. Go. GNC. Go. Max. Go. Eagle. Go. Ecom. Go. FAO. Go. ACO. Go. DPS. Go. Enco. Go. How about booster? Go. And let's see. Capcom's go. All right. So Capcom, what we can do for the crew is tell them that the weather is looking good for today, and uh, we can give them an early go for the deal with them. Endeavour Houston, a quick update to the weather at your proposed landing time. The winds are actually forecast to be a little bit lighter, 3 peak 5 from 080, so that's a crosswind of 3 peak 5 and a head peak of, or headwind of 1 peak 1. And the clouds also are thinning out from scattered at 25 to few at 25. CJ reports a slightly noticeable crosswind from the left for our dive into 1 5 and that either runway would be uh, acceptable and uh, preferred. So uh, we're going to go ahead and stick with 1-5, and since the weather's shaping up nicely, we'll go ahead now and give you a go for the deorbit burn. Copy. Go ahead, go for the deorbit burn, and copy all the weather. Thanks, Fido. Fido. Go ahead, Fido. We have a good filter on energy on ground track. Nav is go. Take GPS. Okay. Endeavor, you can take GPS. We show you touching down 2,700 feet at 195 knots. It's out of the way early, uh, approaching the hacks. Fido, any updates to Twins Weather? Okay, um, it, uh, the surface wind is now 302 peak 3, that's all on the tail, uh, on energy as we approach. Okay, GNC and advisories. Got a good repo, sir, no advisories. And max. Nominal shoot. Cops 305. Copy, 305. Endeavor, we show you on energy approaching the hack. 
your winds are now a slight tailwind about three knots nominal shoot. Yeah, there's no crosswind at this time. It's all tail. Processing MLS. Copy MLS. Houston Endeavor, runway's in sight. Copy Endeavor, runway in sight. Guess the gear's down and locked. Gear down and locked. Does your touchdown? Ground speed enabled. All right, folks. Uh, media post landing deltas. Max. None. Eagle. None. Ecom. None. GNC. None. Prop. None. ACO. You have any? None. DPS. None. Inco. None. And booster. None. All right. Uh, we have on five dash three. Let's get wheel stuff. See an ankle flight, uh, give me a heads up uh, when you get uh, S band on upper antenna and pointing inhibited and ECOM will use 60 minutes for ammonia to start with. Houston Endeavour will stop. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Your landing ends a vibrant legacy for this amazing vehicle that will long be remembered. Welcome home Endeavour. Yeah, thank you Houston. You know, the space shuttle is an amazing vehicle to fly through the atmosphere, hit it at Mach 25, uh, I mean, steer through the atmosphere like an airplane, land on a runway, it is really, really an incredible ship. On behalf of my entire crew, I want to thank every person that's worked for to get this mission going and every person that's worked on Endeavor. Um, it's sad to see her land for the last time, uh, but she really has a great legacy. Great words. Thank you, Mark. And we will meet you and your crew on 5-3. All right. 5-3. Okay, Ecom, 60 minutes. Initial hack. Light. Okay. Inco, how are you coming along? Funny, we are inhibited on numbers. All right.